You know, nothing sets a better tone for the day than when you go to pull out all your vehicles and you just see this on the floor. No, no, not, not just that. You see this, you see this, and then you see this, you see this, you see this, oh, it's just, it's just really not a good day for the Z's right now. What is going on guys? Double R here back again today with another video. Uh, we're dealing with some oil leak issues as far as both Z goes. My Z is leaking tons, tons of more oil than Ali Z is, but it's only when it's on. And then Ali Z just leaks period, which is making me think it's some sort of oil pan gasket issue. Uh, mine is a little bit harder to diagnose because it's only when it's on it's only when it's building pressure which i can't really tell if that's going to be the oil pan because the oil pan is going to get wet regardless it's the lowest point of the engine so if oil spilling from somewhere it's going to drip to the lowest point and it's going to just totally make the oil pan disgusting and then it makes it really hard for you to diagnose where the oil is coming from but i was doing a little bit of inspecting and then i kind of noticed that it might be the rear main seal which there's really no way to prove that unless we take down the transmission and check from there but our best thing to do is put this car in the lift, take Allie's car, put it on some jack stands. She'll go ahead, she'll take her oil pan off. I'll go ahead and just start inspecting underneath the Z. And hopefully we could figure out this whole entire oil pan issue. Also, I wanted to let you guys know the double R hats are almost out of stock. These will most likely be on the shop again. But as far as the double R Q50 t-shirts, this is gonna be a one-time t-shirt only because this is our first build and it's to show really who the true supporters are to this channel. Who stayed around since we've been building the Q50 and we're re releasing it as like a double R OG bundle. So if you guys are interested in a double R hat, the first rendition of the double R merch, a double R sticker plaque, including the small little Q50s that we have, also the logo on the at sticker and stuff. Make sure to check out double R shop.co and get your merch before it runs out. You see me good? All right, so you see all this oil? That shouldn't be there, it should be inside here. So I'm over here looking for the oil leak. Usually what I like to do is I just like to see where the most amount has accumulated, which is like on this passenger side it looks like because the driver's side is pretty much dry, which lets me know it's most likely not the oil pan gasket because if it was, usually the silicone will pick all the way up and this whole thing will be drenched. Kind of like Ali's car, right? Like your whole oil pan is soaked in oil, right? exactly so us it looks like it's something dripping down and liquid likes to find the lowest point so it's coming down to the oil pan so then we look at the highest spot we got uh, where I see oil I see it dripping from here which had me worried because I thought maybe it would be the middle oil pan which means I have to take the whole engine apart and that's not even worth it uh, but it also could be this oil feed T. So this is a RV25. It's actually a steel oil T. I actually use this to be able to run the oil feed line all the way up to the turbo. Now, as I was looking, it really looks like it's dripping from the oil pressure sensor. For a second, I thought it was maybe the oil filter, but it's tight on there. The T tight on there. And I go and look, check the oil pressure sensor. And if I just hand tighten this a little bit, let's take this clip off. Yeah, that's tight. That had to be where it was leaking from.
uh, we, I guess, fixed the oil leak on the 350Z. So the, uh, basically the oil pressure sensor, uh, which was on the RV25 oil T for like the oil feed line for the turbo and stuff, that was only like finger tight. I wouldn't even say hand tight, it was finger tight. It was the moment I touched it, it spun. We tightened that down as much as we could. Uh, I'm really finicky about oil fittings and stuff because if you over tighten them, you leak. And if you under tighten them, you leak. So I'm really trying not to strip the block or anything. So I really went as like tight as I could uh, with like a, just a regular uh, adjustable wrench. And hopefully I don't have any leaks within the future. Uh, we had it up on the lift, started for about five minutes. I didn't see nothing. So I guess that's done. We're gonna pull this car out and then we're gonna pull Ali's car in. Most likely I got under there. She said she couldn't find it. Her rear main seals definitely like has a small leak, uh, but nothing that I'd be too concerned of to like swap right now, considering you have to take down the transmission and stuff. Uh, but the oil pan is really easy to access. What sucks is we are gonna waste a little bit of oil, being that we just did an oil change on our car. But I mean, the more the better. Uh, all we have to do is just take off her old gasket, which looks like a paper gasket, which might be why it was leaking. Um, and then put like some decent silicone on there, slap it on, and then call it a day. Warm. Hold that, baby. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. Oh, now you get to look up in the engine. This right here could be like a Universal Technical Institute photo. So this looks like so much worse than I thought. Her oil pump just looks incredibly sludgy. This drives fast too. So, uh, we messed up. The gasket uh, didn't seal all the way around the oil pan, and as soon as we turned the car on, uh, we saw it leaks. Since this is really expensive oil, uh, we're basically emptying out all the oil again, putting it back into a clean container, and then uh, we're gonna take down the oil pan. I'm gonna gasket, uh, I'm gonna try and put the gasket on correctly, and then hopefully we don't have any more leaking issues. All right, so, uh, we silicone the oil pan gasket and we put it on. All we were able to do is finger tight all the oil pan bolts. Since we've had an issue last time with a bunch of silicone just kind of spewing out and it didn't hold its seal, uh, we're gonna wait a total of 24 hours before we go ahead and torque everything back down. So tomorrow morning, we'll come back here, we'll torque it down, we'll put oil in, but I'm actually gonna play airsoft tomorrow. So this is probably where this video is gonna cut off. We ended up fixing the Z. We'll do a couple of runs with that. But uh, I'm glad that we were able to knock out at least Ali's oil pan and hopefully we have no more leaks. And we'll start the next video of Ali Z with her doing the burnout. So I'll promise you guys that and I'll keep it. But as far as tomorrow goes, uh, no more cars. It's gonna be airsoft. I've been posting some videos on my Instagram, a bunch of GoPro clips, me running on the field. If you guys wanna see more content of that, I'll definitely put it on the channel. I'm definitely just gonna make my own video and put it up there and see how you guys react to it. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, make sure to go to doublershop.co to check out the merch. Rep your hats, rep your, uh, your t-shirts, and rep your stickers. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Double R and I'm out.